today, we're unboxing Guatemalan Jade. It's so cute! Right now I'm wearing my Elux Jewelry Uvera Vite Garnet necklace, which we also did an unboxing for, so you guys should definitely check out that video, link below. I already know I'm gonna freak out when I see this. I've been so excited about this. She put on Instagram that she was gonna do this. Alex is one of my favorite brands, and so when she said she was gonna do a Guatemalan jade piece, I died. Huh, huh. All right, are we ready? I'm pumped, are you pumped? The moment of truth. Oh, I'm so excited. She sent two! Okay, guys, hold on. Let me take out my earrings, my other jade earrings, because I love jade. This is amazing. I mean, wow, they have a real glow to them. So these are what are called ear climbers. And the ear climbers can be worn in your first or your second hole. You can wear just one at a time and make it really asymmetrical, or you can wear a pair. What's nice is if you want a fine piece of jewelry, earrings are typically a little bit more expensive because there's two of them, but with the ear climbers, you can just buy a single, and so that helps it be a little bit more affordable. The ear climbers swoop, and you want the point to be pointing up the side of your ear. Let me demonstrate how to put these on. You do not want to stretch the wire at all. You want to completely leave it the way that it is. So you're going to hook it and drop it down. So see how it's dropped? And then you're going to turn the point up. And then I kind of like pinch the bottom of my ear to kind of push it up. Ah, it feels so beautiful. Man, this feels great. If you're having a little bit of trouble getting it through the hole, take the opening and put it on the side of your ear where the tissue is thinner. So you can kind of slide it up and then you're gonna take it down the ear to where the hole is. Poke it through, remember not to stretch the wire. Drop it down so that the point is down and secure it and then angle the point up towards your cartilage. If you watch my channel a lot, you've probably seen our videos on the history of Guatemalan jadeite. Burmese jadeite has been revered in China since the 1700s following their culture's 8,000 year affinity for nephrite jade. Guatemalan jadeite, however, has a mysterious and long history in Mesoamerica. It's known that at least seven different cultures over the course of 3,000 years in Central America used jade for currency, tools, weapons, burial practices, and more. It was held in higher esteem than gold and highly revered in their religion and culture. But over time, the original mines of Guatemalan jade became a mystery. Sometime after the Spanish Inquisition banned the jade trade in an effort to convert the tribal peoples, Guatemala herself forgot she even had jade to begin with. Nonetheless, where it came from. In the 20th century, finding the lost jade of Guatemala became a long and controversial journey, ending with its magnificent discovery by Jay and Mary Lou Reidinger in the 1970s. Jadeite jade is one of the toughest gemstones on the planet, having a rich international history and exceptional gemological characteristics. Harder than steel and harder to break than diamonds, Jade's story is full of history, drama, and controversy, being widely misunderstood today due to the availability of fake and treated jades posing as natural. This Guatemalan jadeite jade ear climber from Alex Jewelry is actually natural jade and has that characteristic glow and allure only attributed to the Stone of Kings. If you're not shopping with Alex Jewelry, you need to start. Alex is a woman-owned designer jewelry brand based in Denver, Colorado. Every single piece of jewelry is totally unique and one of a kind. Aria, the designer, finds really exceptional stones like this rare Uvera Vite Garnet and this also rare Guatemalan Blue Jade. And then she builds truly unique designs around them. So here's what I wanna do now. I wanna take this out and I wanna show Guatemalan Blue Jade Ear Climber in the second hole and the Big Sur Jade in the first hole. I wear these Big Sur Jade earrings a lot and I really wanna see what the Guatemalan looks like in the second hole. My multi-piercing girls know what I'm talking about. Something that's really important to me if I'm buying earrings is if it's not a dangle, it needs to be something that I can wear in my second hole. Man, that looks good. So I love the Ear Climbers in the second hole. Obviously you can wear it in the first or the second, whichever you prefer. I love everything about this. If you're interested in finding some unique one-of-a-kind earrings for yourself, some gemstone ear climbers, some rare Uveravite, be sure to check out alux.com. We're going to leave the link in the description.